Hi, thanks for joining me. This is David, one of the cash register guys here at National Business Systems, also known as the cash register guys. Reason for this video today is to introduce you to SAM4S, one of the new SAM4S models. This is the SAM4S NR500R, 500, or it's 510R. If you look at the series, it says NR500 series. So it's part of a series. This particular one is a 510R. The reason it's called an R is because it has raised keys rather than the flat keyboard. So this is a raised key model, um, really conducive for retail or small restaurant. They make another one, the 510F, which the uh, or just the 510, it has a flat keyboard. And we'll do a separate video on, on that particular model. This is a great little entry-level register. Um, would work very well in convenience stores, small grocery, um, gift shops, you know, wherever you just need a simple retail machine. Um, this register does only have a receipt printer. It does not have a receipt and a journal. Uh, most people don't even know what a journal is these days or an audit tape. So if you don't know what it is, this machine's probably just fine for you. If you need one with a receipt and journal, you'll have to look at one of their bigger models. Um, so single um, receipt printer only. We'll take a look at it. Uses thermal paper. And it opens and loads very easily. You just open the printer, drop the new roll in it, close it. That's all there is to changing the paper. Um, and again, single station only. It is a receipt printer, not a journal. Um, you can also turn the receipt off and just get a receipt on demand. While we're inside the printer well, take a look at this port right here, <clears throat> this opening. This is really a cool feature. Sam4S has been building into their newer models. This is an SD card port, um, so you'd have to take that screw out, open this cover, but the advantage of that SD card port is it allows you, once this register is programmed, that you can back it up to an SD card port. Why is that important? Well, maybe you're barcode scanning on this machine and you have um, a thousand UPCs in it. You could back up that machine to an SD card in case of failure, maybe your machine is stolen, whatever it happens to be, you would have your program safely backed up and you could avoid um, all those hours and hours and hours of reprogramming thousands of UPCs if you ever uh, decided to do that with this machine. So like I mentioned, this machine does support barcode scanning. It's got some ports available. I'm going to spin it around, see if we can get a shot of the ports there. So as you can see, it has a USB port and it has a serial port <clears throat> and it has some other auxiliary ports. That is important because you can attach a barcode scanner, you can attach a computer, you can attach a flash drive. Also another method of taking a backup on this machine is you could use a flash drive. This register does come with <clears throat> free software, it's Sam4S's Espresso software, so you can manage your items, your programming, and take reports on a computer if you'd like through that USB port that you saw on the side. So, we got 12 buttons, got your 10 pad here, got your function keys over here, there's quite a few function keys. <clears throat> Macro keys for speed tendering or reporting keys, your 10 pad for your prices, and your 12 groups or departments here. <clears throat> they're really PLUs, but they're located on the keyboard. So if we wanted to ring something up, we're just going to key in the price. So let's go $1.25, and we'll press PLU number 1. Of course, you could program the name in there. But take, take a look at this display. It's quite large, easy to read. So we'll add another item, 250. Uh, P, uh, we've got that one named, that's beads. 450 uh, over here, or $4.40. Now I'm going to hit subtotal. This is our subtotal with tax, if we're charging tax. And we're going to do $10 cash. There's your change. Our receipt printed. You can have your name, of course, on the receipt. You can have a graphic logo on that receipt if you would like. And of course, you could have turned that receipt off and only got it on demand. Let's take a look at the cash drawer. It's a great heavy duty cash drawer. This is just the shipping tape, so that won't be on your machine after you open it. Here's the insert it's a nice five bill, five coin. Nice wide bills. It accommodates American currency and Canadian currency. This is a heavy duty insert. This is plastic, but this is metal. These bill weights, these are called bill weights. Those are metal. 
bill weight springs, and this rib up here is all metal. So it's a nice heavy duty drawer. These are adjustable, these dividers, if you do need to move them, um, but it will accommodate <clears throat> American and Canadian currency very well. So as you can see, it pops out of there, so you could put bigger items underneath. Once you put it back in there, it won't just pop up. Um, so you push it back, then lift out. So that's a safety measure. So if you are putting items underneath through the media slots, like checks, credit card vouchers, or whatever it is, it won't pop the insert up. This sticker that you see here, this is just indicating that this is a Model 60 drawer. Almost all Sam Forest registers ship these days with a Model 60 drawer, which is that international drawer. So if you ever need to order an insert, um, you're going to be asked, what insert do you have? Just look there. This one has a 60. Um, this machine has a rear display. Right now, it is tucked down, but it's on. We're going to elevate it, and it does rotate. So it's a simple display. Shows you the last thing done and the dollar amounts. It rotates not quite a 360. Um, it's pretty close. And it can be popped up or put back down. It's still on. Um, you can barcode scan, like I mentioned. This machine can handle 3,200 UPCs. So more than enough for a small convenience store or a big convenience store. Um, it has an electronic journal, because as we mentioned, it's a receipt only. But it does have an electronic journal, so it can store in memory. I think it's up to, uh, I can't recall how many lines. It's quite a few lines of electronic journal. And then you could print that out um, when you did need that electronic journal. And it is... Oh, 15,000 lines of electronic journal after, of course, you've allocated the memory. Mix and match tables. So if you're doing barcode scanning, this machine can do mix and match. That's where you're selling maybe one item at $1.25, but you sell three of them for $3. It would automatically adjust the price when you've sold that third one. This machine will do guest checks for restaurants, so you can run tabs if you wanted to. Up to 99 groups, up to 99 clerks, 3,200 UPCs. Um, it's really a great entry-level cash register. Uh, all the registers that Sam 4S make are commercial grade, very durable. Um, we have customers that have 10-year-old machines in the field, some that are even older. Um, so give us a call. We'll, we'd love to, to see if this register is for you. You can call us at 800-863-2274. You can find us on the web at cashregisterguys.com. And if you look down in the description of this video, you will see a link directly to this register on our site. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.